In this video guide, we're going to see how we can save a Blender file using textures, so saving the 3D models and the materials and the textures, so that you can package everything, and then when you move from, from uh, this computer to another computer, you will find everything. Now I'm gonna use for this Blender kit, which is an add-on that can give you a lot of 3D models, materials, and other assets that will be really helpful. So I'm just gonna start all over here with a new file, and just start from the beginning. So I'm gonna use the initial cube here in uh, Blender, and I'm also gonna use a model in Blender Kit. This is the Blender Kit bar, so I need to open it up and then look for a house. So you can use the search bar or you can just move into this um, stripe and find what you're looking for. So I'm looking for a house, and this is the house that I just downloaded, so I'm, I'm gonna download it again just to show you how easy it is. So it's just a drag and drop. And also, if we um, delete the filter here, and let's go to the materials, I can find a lot of materials. So this is the wood also that I've been using. So I can try also with another texture. So, and also I will show you the issue of the pink material and why is that, and how can we avoid it. So, I will drag and drop this onto this cube. Now to see the materials, you need the third sphere. So let's close the stripe now of Blender Kit. You need the third sphere right here. Now we can see also the materials. Now, how can we get Blender Kit? Well, we created another video guide about the Blender Kit, but just quickly, how you do it? You just go to Edit, Preferences, and in this new version of Blender, you go here, add-ons and to install external packages you click here and you go install from disk now you need to navigate where you downloaded the blender kit zip file which is the add-on that you need to get from the website the website is just blenderkit.com so you can search it there you go and first result download blender kit for free it's a free tool but also contains uh, objects and materials that are locked you need to have a premium account you can download it from here. You will download the zip. Once you download the zip, install it, as I just said. Once it's installed, it's gonna be automatically activated and ready to go. Otherwise, if it doesn't go automatically, you need to search it here in the add-ons and activate it yourself using this checkbox. Okay, once it's on, then you can access all these resources. Now, uh, apart from Blender Kit, let's go back to our topic, which is how we can uh, manage the textures which are essentially external resources most of the time. They are not embedded into the Blender file but they are linked into an external folder. So how we can see that? Well we can go here in the shading interface. This is the most important interface when you're working with materials and textures. So up here we see the 3D view, down here we have the shader view or shader editor. And if you look here, you will find the material that you are um, of the object that you are selecting. So if I select this cube, I can see now the material of this cube. And if I go, if I don't see it, sometimes you can go to View and just do Frame Selected. So it's going to frame in the uh, object you're working with. Now, if I do closer, these are the nodes that represent the texture that this material is using. So if I select them, I can see them also here on the left side. So that's a, um, the, the image they're using. Well, this image is packed into the file because if I look closer here, this little icon represents the fact that this uh, is packed in the, file, in the Blender file right now. So if I save this file, let's go like file and save us and let's save this as package test. So package test. Okay. So everything that will have this icon will be saved inside that Blender file. So it's going to be a larger file, but it will contain these textures and things that I need to see the, 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 the 3D scene always fine. But if I click on this little icon, you can see that I have options to unpack 
So if I unpack this, I can use the file from current directory, so or create if necessary. And then you have other options. So let's say that I want to do uh, use file from current directory. So you can see it just created a folder and it's saved in that folder called textures. This texture in the specific now this icon has changed into a folder. So if I click on this folder, I can see the folder where that was stored. And this is the name, it's called wood 3 base color diffuse. So if I go like this, I can have a preview. So that's the text that we just exported. So it's like saving an image externally. Now what's gonna happen if I, let's save this, and I want to close it and go directly in, into that folder. And this is the folder right here. So this is the file I just saved. This is my Blender 4 folder. So if I save my file here, the texture folder will be saved in the same directory. So I need to look for it. And there it is. So I already did this a couple of times. So it's just saved a lot of textures. But the one that I just saved is this one here. So let's assume I change this and call this dark wood texture, OK? Or I delete this, or for example, I copy and paste my project there. I can just cut it and paste it into another folder or copy and paste it in another folder in this computer or perhaps in another computer. Well, I will have a pink issue material. So I will show you what, was, what this means. So if I double click and open it. So anytime you, you basically change the link to that material, that particular texture or the entire material will be lost. So if I zoom in, I can still see the other texture because these are packaged like the normal or the roughness effect. These are all packaged into the file, but not the first one which, which we just unpacked. So now we cannot see it. So how can we retrieve it? Well, in this case, we need to click and go manually and look for it. And if it's there, we need to select it, or we can select another one as a replacement. So I'm going to select that and open. And there you go, back on. Now, if I don't want to accidentally lose textures around, well, I need to make sure that my folder is always with me, or I need to pack everything in here. Now, how do I pack? So we just unpacked, but how do I pack? So if I'm creating a material right here, and I can see also these others, these are all packed. Well, in this case, I need to select the texture that I want to pack, like this. So I click in the shader editor. And I need to press N of the keyboard, or just click and drag this little arrow to open up the sidebar. And here, these are the properties of the texture. So if I see here, this is the name, the new name of the texture I just gave. And this little icon here is to pack the image and embed it into the Blender file. So I'm going to click, and now this becomes, again, a package texture. So if I save this again and I reopen it again, anywhere is going to have that texture within, but it's going to be a little bit heavier. And um, you know, I, I don't need to copy and paste extra files. Now, if you want, you can do this going here into File and going into External Data. So if you want to do this automatically, you can turn on this automatically pack resource checkbox, or you can go manually and pack all the resources or unpack the resources. If you do this, it will create a, fo a texture folder, as you saw, with the uh, all the texture contained into this project. And also you can do other packing and unpacking operation in here. Also, you can report missing files or find missing files. So this would be all for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please join the channel as a supporter. If you want, you can also subscribe. Just subscribe and stay updated. And check out other courses in Blender, like for 3D architecture and uh, character design, and also for other 3D software for uh, modeling and rendering. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next.